Hello everyone, welcome back to your third and final Doctor Who leak video. As the time I'm recording this, there are no more that I've seen, so uh, yeah. But I hope you've enjoyed the last two. I've enjoyed doing Lever Edit again, I can't lie, I do find these genuinely fun to read. And I know you guys have missed them as well, so I thought, you know, let's make us both happy, let's bring back the Reddit videos for a bit of a nostalgia tour, if you will. But before we get into it, if you could just do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, I'd be ever so grateful. We might have already hit 11,000 subscribers by the time I'm recording this, I'm not sure. But if we haven't, please smash the subscribe button. And even if we have, you know, 12,000, you know, it's nice and even. It's a lot less, you know, uneven than 11,000. 12,000 would be very nice. So whatever the subscribe is on, please, please just click it. Click that red button. I'd be very grateful. I do regular Doctor Who news. I talk about rumours. I've also started a podcast, Wild Endeavour, where I talk about like the latest Doctor Who stuff and my opinions on Doctor Who episodes. So if any of that interests you, be sure to check it out. But with that said, let's get into the leak. And before we do so, just a regular reminder that, you know, these are just from Reddit. They're not official. You know, they're just rumours, speculation, leaks. They're just, they're just a bit of fun. You know, sometimes they turn out to be right. Most of the time, no, but that's why we like to look at them. We just want to see what's being said in the world of Doctor Who. With that said, let's get into this one. So this one is called The Smut Rumours. I don't know who Smut is. It sounds like a weird Muppet character, but anyway. <laughs> As some who use both Reddit and Gallifrey Base may know, there is a user on that site called Rudiger Smut. He has posted a number of rumours that have proven to be correct. In 2017, he said there would be a woman doctor. She'd auditioned in April, the spelling on this one, by the way, not really that good, and was in BBC TV show at the time, all of which was right. Jodie was in Trust Me when she was announced as the doctor. He is no longer a member of Gallifrey Base and is taking a break from the internet altogether to deal with some mental health issues, but he has told me it is okay for me to post some of the rumours he has heard regarding the new series. There will be an eight-part series filming from the spring. The filming will start on the 2nd of May, so already we're seeing some similarities with the first leak we covered of this new series, you know, basically saying eight-part series starts filming in May. It's all lining up so far. The new Doctor is again a woman. She was cast in November last year. Now, here's the thing about that. In December, Russell said they were still holding auditions, so unless he was lying, that does knock the credibility of this leak just a little bit. Now, to be fair, he has said in the past, don't trust anything I say. But at the same time, obviously, if we are to take his word at face value, then that does make this a bit less likely. But everything else so far seems to line up with sort of things we've already heard. Lydia West is involved in the new series, but not as the Doctor. Again, something that has been uh, reiterated before, the regeneration will take place outside, something we already know via, I believe, was it Matt Stevens who said it wasn't taking place in the TARDIS? It will involve water. Oh, okay, so this is where... So for those of you who don't know, on Gallifrey Base, there was basically a rumour that 13 would sort of drown in order to regenerate, and I'm assuming that this is the original source for that rumour, that that Gallifrey Base person, this was the person, not the person on the Reddit, but the person this person is talking about, sorry, it's like Inception, was the one who came up with the water rumour, so that's at least solved that mystery. There will be a Christmas special this year, but it will not be written by Russell T Davis. That contradicts the first leak we spoke about that said there wouldn't be a Christmas special till at least, I think they said 2024? So, yeah, that's interesting. And not written by Russell T Davis. Weird choice, given that, you know, he's taken over. So I don't really buy that one. The first of these rumours he heard in October before anyone else said it. Okay, so... These were kind of the origins of a lot of the rumours we see today, if we are to believe this person. There's not much more to this one other than the things I outlined. Again, this one seems fairly likely in some places, and then in others I'm kind of like, hmm, I highly doubt that there'll be a Christmas special this year, I just can't see them managing to turn one around. Especially since, as I've said before, they made mention of Russell T Davies returning for the 60th, implying we won't see anything of his era until at least late 2023 and i can't imagine rtd having the first episode of his new era being written by someone else everything else though has kind of been rumored in other places since this so i suppose in that sense it might have some more credibility but um yeah i'm not too sure about this this more comes from gallifrey based than reddit this is just being relayed 
onto Reddit. And then personally, I've mentioned before, I'm not a big fan of Gallifrey based due to just how it's formatted. But as it, as was stated, apparently this guy has a somewhat decent track record, so maybe maybe he'll be right. On the topic of the water regeneration, I will say, like, initially I thought it would be too grim and morbid for a kid's show, and that might well still be the case, but it might be quite a beautiful way of doing a regeneration. You know, the Doctor submerges herself in water, the water glows, and a new Doctor steps out of, of, of the water. That would be quite a beautiful way of doing a regeneration. Maybe, maybe sort of playing into the whole Jesus allegory a bit much with the whole walking out of the water thing, but I don't know. It, it at least seems somewhat cool anyway, and something somewhat different from what we're traditionally used to seeing with regenerations. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these rumours in the comments below. What do you think the likelihood of these being true are? Comment down below your thoughts, subscribe if you're new. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, and I will see you later. Shout out to Debs Iona, Simon Ashley, Steve Safaro, Shane Smith, Patrick Muson, Ree Kevin, Seb Lowndes, Jay Monroe, Preston, Hash Shandy Coot, and Human Being. If you want to become a member, feel free to do so. It really helps out. You get exclusive posts, shout outs in every video, and even your own badge and custom emojis to use.